Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to World of Darkness Preludes Vampire. Now, in the last episode, we were able to get some much-needed information, met some interesting new people, but I think the biggest revelation we uncovered was that Mother was a member of the mysterious Clan Tremere, which is um, pretty worrying for Case and for myself. The Tremere are actually my favorite clan in VTM, and I'm pretty familiar with what they can do, at least in previous editions, and that does not bode well for our hero. So we're going to move on to our next chapter, Los Angeles, Party Time. I'm Dizzy and I'm Izzy, which, um, that sounds interesting. 2.55 p.m., Los Angeles, Friday. Speaking of mother, and apparently we're going to get a ton of texts. Come to me. I love you. No thanks, Mom. The kitty found a manta ray the size of a forest, or the kitty looked up and saw overhead a manta ray as big as a forest. Um, that one, that second one sounds a bit confusing. Let's go with the first one. Well then. Who's next? Morgan. Hey, new kid. You were friends with Hollis? Oh, Morgan hasn't talked to us yet. Oh, hey. Yeah. I'm pretty confused by the whole thing. Well, I'm Morgan. I play monsters in movies sometimes. Hey, I'm Case. I don't even know what I do. Do you know anything about why they killed Hollis? Hollis had ideas. You know the Book of Nod? No. I do. It's sort of a shadow text of the Old Testament. It's mostly in fragments, but it tells a story about Cain is cast out of Eden and then goes to the land of Nod, east of Eden. Meets Lilith, demons, does things. A lot of them will tell you we come from that. Cainites, which was a uh, primarily a Sabbat term. Okay. The Camarilla likes calling uh, vampires kindred. Hollis didn't believe that. Hollis had been around ooh, long enough to get interested in how holy texts change, though. Hollis was looking at the actual Bible, the human Bible, reading about Walhassen, the synoptic problem and stuff, and noticing patterns. Hollis was explaining the story of the Tower of Babel to me. We used to pe we're used to people saying it's about pride, but. In Genesis, it just says they built it and God saw it was impressive and destroyed it. Nothing about pride. And in Exodus 24, God just ambushes Moses out of nowhere and then Moses' wife gets him to fuck off with a blood sacrifice. No explanation. Typical God. Oh, sorry, that's me. Typical God. Then you look at the rest of it. People wandering in the desert, promises of immortality, somebody dies and comes back. If you're with him, you're rich, even if you're poor. All this negative theology like people just can't even imagine what he's like until they drink from his cup. So? Supposedly everyone is sinning just by being born. There's none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips. It isn't about a specific group of people, that's just Paul talking about everyone. And then in Revelations, a bowl of darkness is poured on the earth, and then everybody on God's side lives forever. Hollis said the Bible made no sense at all if it was about people, but it made perfect sense that the whole thing is actually about us. Ugh, I mean, if you think of it as a real thing and not as an analogy of drug po or anthology of drug poetry, then yeah, I see the point. Whenever the Bible refers to the sun, it's almost always just as a time marker, rarely as a warm thing that helps grass grow. Hollis left a Bible here, some underlined things, and when the sun is down he shall be clean, and shall afterward eat of the holy things, because it, because it is his food. The chosen people wander in the wilderness of Sin, which is a reference to a moon goddess named Sin, not Sin Sin. Light's always being mentioned because it's always nighttime, no electricity. 
So fires and lamps are like the most important thing. Hollis thought most of the passages that humanized the message were interpolations added along the way as the books were being compiled by priests like the Zadokites and the Synod of Carthage trying to make the books make sense to civilians. I had no idea. It's probably going over Case's head a little bit. Yeah, Hollis did not tell a lot of people about this. So Hollis apparently figured out something big, and maybe he was killed for it. Or maybe he was, he was killed for going against um, Redrick. There's a bowl of purple olives in here, and I didn't know they made purple olives. Where'd y'all go? Lots of old phones here. Everyone typing like it's 2005. Lol, talking to the fattest man ever, he's like, I've been trying to get my hair to do that. What room you in? Izzy doesn't sound good, or just random. Uh, the wallpaper has like boxes inside boxes. Oh my god, I just saw V Velver with the stoil. No star fucking until I'm there. Priorities and all. Alfonso! Come meet me at the Antioch Hill Church of Christ, 78th and Vermont. What is it? I'm at a party, and even though I just heard someone say, it's a matter of time, materials, and capacity, this guy has a swan in his house, so it might get better? And we got messages from... Calamity shall befall you, the greatest of which is yourself. Think about all that stuff that Hollis believes is the Cabals. The Warlocks, the Tremere, they hate it. Here's Hollis breeding like a fly in Los Angeles, capital of the sun Sunshine State, the least holy city, where there's barely any rules to begin with, and now talking straight up heresy? I think they kill Hollis to stop the spread. Hollis was important? Morgan's... <laughs> Kind of. I mean, Hollis wasn't a force, more just... Okay, Hollis's people were like me. A vegan trans B movie actress living alone in a fucking hotel. Or you. Not exactly a... Ooh. There's a lot of things. Not exactly a conquering army, but irritating. Ah! You are long-winded. Have you met Hollis's friend, Alfonso? He will just massacre a whole precinct for fun and not even bother to frame MS-13. This is not conductive to the whole order and hierarchy and secrecy thing the Cabals are into. You think Avery Ailes is going to check in with the Lords of Manhattan every time she flies in to go shopping? <laughs> Forget about it. They care that she's supposedly 14 generations from Cain or whatever, and there's six or nine generations from Cain. She doesn't. When I started transitioning to female, I was already breaking the law and ignoring idiot doctors three times my age trying to tell me how much, that word, I could or couldn't get prescribed that day. I'm not going to start following more rules just because I'm dead. That's why they're really pissed off about Hollis's theory, I think. It's not just because it throws off their whole generational scoreboard. It's because it proves they don't know everything. Vegan? Oh, wow. Man. Has a lot of stuff. That's always the thing about old people. They don't actually know any more than we do. They're just dug in deeper. They took Hollis but wouldn't take Alfonso. It's too much press. And your friend has the right instincts. They really don't want to have to disappear Frankie Cannibal. That's not just police. That's FBI, The Times, every reporter, every conspiracy theorist for the next 40 years shows up if someone kills Frankie Cannibal. Listen, are you hungry? I don't know if you do vegan, but I thought I might go over to Shoujin and see what looks good. Vegan? Yeah, I mean, I was vegan before and now... I mean, I don't want animals to suffer just because now I'm higher on the food chain. Plus, plus a lot of rich vegans are assholes, so it works out. Thanks, but now, not just now, I'm at this thing, I should probably stop texting and do it properly. <laughs> okay, have fun. Good old Alfonso, who we invited to the party. Okay. All right. One of the sons of the crypt traded me for this detective. Traded? 
we're getting some initiations here, guys, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave this guy a chopped Harley Iron 883 I found, and he gave me this murder cop they've been having a fork party with in the chapel. Fork party? I can guess. Marco's house is insane. There's a directory next to the phone. It has an extension just for the clock. He has a wooden letter opener. And it is monogram. And I'm stealing it. Wooden letter opener. And that sounds like a nice steak to me. And the steak definitely saved our bacon with the um, mutant monkey. Where are you? <laughs> this wallpaper is dizzy. Are you upstairs? <laughs> I'm dizzy and I'm Izzy. Lol. How can you be drunk already? Or at all? I got a bad feeling <laughs> about this. Without me, you are an... I don't know that word. Sliming across fine four floors like a legless embryo. What are you trying to do, Mom? I don't care. Are we going to find out what a fork party is? You hang them upside down from a hook and poke forks in them and the juice runs out. Anyway, point is... Fuck, Izzy. I just saw a niece. We have to get out of here. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. B badness. Izzy? Izzy? I can't find you or Frankie. As soon as you get this, call. If you can't call, text me the most detailed description of where you are that you possibly can. I do not want to lose Izzy. Anyway, I check his wallet. I check his house. This guy has files and files on Hollis's murder, and it turns out Hollis is a person of interest on murders going back to, like, 1978. There might be some clues here in your situation. It says that we got sent something. Alfonso and Morgan. Ah. Izzy, t Izzy texted, oh fuck, and disappeared. I'm afraid to talk. I, I don't want them to hear me. I've been looking all over for, like, 20 minutes. 2319 Ozetta Drive over Sunset Strip. <laughs> Coming. <laughs> yeah. Marco Rousseau bought the Pinkervale vale house. I suddenly don't trust anyone here. That actually sounds accurate. I don't know whether to leave or... Police? That's a dumb question, Case. <laughs> Coming from the fuck down in South LA. So if you can get out, get out. I'm in a room. I need more help than that. <laughs> I'm in a room in the house. Izzy, are you okay? Like, Izzy's been our friend since the very beginning. There's one of those clear plastic chairs and blood. I've been here a long time, I think. I drew this. How? Ooh. How did you have time to draw that? I'm hungry. I had so little. Mo wanted more. This house is bad. It's so crowded here. There's so many. Oh, I forgot how to. Um, hors d'oeuvres. Fuck. It's weird when you like read it and you're so used to saying it and not reading it. Are you feeling okay? No. Does the room you're in have any doors? <laughs> it has laundry. You're in a laundry room? <laughs> I 
I opened the dryer and came out, and out came the thousand dead. Mo too, which didn't it take? Man, she's talking all kinds of nonsense. This fucking house is too fucking big, and I can't even find the way I came in. What is it? Oh, hello, Anise. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead. Are you here? I thought I saw you, but I can't smell you. Heart, heart, heart. Ugh. Okay, I'm sure Izzy's here somewhere. I'm getting out of here. Well, this is probably lead to our first death, guys. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and stay the course. We don't want to be too cowardly. I'm sure Izzy's here somewhere. It's just a house. It'd be horrible if this was like the Tremere Chantry. And they just had a bunch of people over for a party. Mm. Listen. Mm. Oh, good lord. This might be... Actually, I might be right. Listen. The Pink Ravel house is famous. It was built in the 20s. It was in a ton of movies. I remember it was used in the 60s horror movie, The Place of Claws. I'm skipping around on it in Vimeo trying to find out where things are. It was also on Cribs when Pig Morton lived there. I think can reconstruct the space. Do you see a waterfall? There's a stairway parallel to a step steep marble basin with a waterfall. I, I could hear a waterfall, I think. God, normal people are ugly. Where are you? In the kitchen? So many kitchens here. Raviolis and shit for the prey. Move toward the sound. See it. Two guys and a girl in a dress with red polka dots the size of pancakes on the stairs. The polka dots don't move, right? Batteries. Battery level critical. Uh oh. B sorry, batteries. In a chair at the base of the stairs. No one responds at all when I s say my friend is missing. This ask if I'm in a band. Izzy, please try, try, try to describe where you are. My flesh sucked weak. I've been up these stairs before. There was nothing. It's been forever. Is he still texting, though? Are there windows? I'm in corners. Not now, Mom. I used to sing to you when you were just a ball of batter and had nothing going for you. Is he said the wallpapers had cubes at one point? What is this? Skittles? Too much expired candy in this house. Go up the stairs and tell me how many doors there are. How many doors? We really need some tense music right now. I tripped over an end table. Four doors open, one closed to the right of the stairs. Go right. I looked here. It's got a bronze peacock and Don Cheadle. Better than a peacock and a bronze Don Cheadle. Keep walking that direction until you find a window or an eight-sided room. I'm in the octagon. Three doors are closed. Closet, bathroom, closet. This used to be a corner turret with windows until someone built on an extension. My guess is your friend is in the extension, but... Okay, okay, there's windows, but it's witch glass. The room is long and I think it bends and it has a desk. Someone gave me a warm beer and the clock's all wrong. I'll send you a text message detailing lurid fantasies, and you'll do them. Is, is there a pen in the desk? Paper? Yeah, a lot. Draw where you are. I drew this. That was at, oh, in the same moment. More? 
Whoa. Interesting. How did you draw that so fast? Do you remember me holding you? The smell, the warmth and blind closeness of that? I held you and I didn't let you go. You can sob into me and I will always hold you. Your struggle is unnecessary. And hey, we got a lot of stuff going on. I can't sleep. The ward is creaky and loud and they brought in a woman with dementia who won't stop talking. Are, are you up? I masturbate so much, but the only thing that gets me off is the idea of choking you. This is happening. Here, there are no lots, lights on in the house. There are definitely lights on in the house. Hmm. Parked. Quiet. Guard coming toward me. The lights are definitely on. I'd wait from a window, but I can't find a room with a window. We're in a chantry. I... I have to call my shot here. Can you get around that room further in that direction? I need a drink. Does IMDB have a list of celebrities no one will miss? Hmm. Stuntman from the, I killed the stuntman from the Legend of Bluebeard, or I killed the guy with amnesia. Um. Let's try the stuntman from the Legend of Bluebeard. Maybe, I don't know, oh, with the mental... Yeah, if he had amnesia, if we fed from him... I don't necessarily think we'd get amnesia, but... I'm in a supply closet with a corpse. Fangless problems again. It's a supply closet. There's a really nice drywall knife here. Hmm. A what? A DeWalt folding jab saw. Mm. Eh. Mm. Download a compass app. Go north. Hmm. Well, I could cut a hole in the wall. But let's see. Let's go ahead and go with Morgan's advice. Oh! Thanks, Morgan. Okay. App just spins. It, it points every direction. Oh, there you are. Busy looking down. Okay, well we definitely know what to do now. We're gonna go ahead and cut through the drywall. See what happens here. I just all the stuff that I remember reading in the novels about what it was like in a Tremere Chantry or just some place that's been affected by thaumaturgy, it it's very accurate. No, fuck this. I'm cutting a hole in the wall. I see Marco Rousseau. His face is white as a jaw. Marcos? Yeah. That's very Zemisi like. Okay. I think you need to get out of there. Th this building makes no sense. How? I, I can't find a door. I can't even find a window. There's something wrong with this house. When was the last time you saw a window? I'm going to cut a hole. What? I'm going to cut a hole in the ceiling. Mm. Retrace your steps and get out of there. Well, cutting seemed to help. Nope, cutting a hole in the ceiling. Voice to text. I'm in a bathroom. It's the only room with cubes on the wallpaper. I had to wait for three people with drugs, and even then there was just one woman in another part of the bathroom just lying there. Had to move her to the biggest bathroom. It has cranks instead of taps. Good man, Case. Voice to talk. 
You should get out of there. You don't want to be cornered. I locked the door when I came in, and I'm standing on a copper sink. I'm cutting a hole high in the wall. God, he has so many Francis Bacons. I've never seen so many Francis Bacon paintings in one place. Did you kick this throwing up woman out of the bathroom? That's like something you'd do. How? It's a drywall cutting knife. It's like this short serrated pointy thing. It'll take a bit. Okay, break's over. Cut. <laughs> this is not how you do this case. Stop. Anise followed. Hmm, I curled up waiting on the other side with the, I assume, the knife? Let's go ahead and try that. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, a lot. But I was stupid and weak, and my blood is thin, and now I'm dead, and Anise has a shitty new phone. Lull. Bye. I keep on forgetting that I am technically a thin blood. And I didn't even think about Anise's generation. Okay, get through all of this. So we know just to jump into this whatever hole that we're making. Because we're kind of committed in what we did. So. <laughs> I crawled into the wall as far as I could. You're in a wall. That's stupid. Hmm. Can't text. Busy sliding. I'm going to try to talk. Hopefully it'll stall her. Peeled open a live wire. Hopefully she'll walk into it. That sounds interesting. Well, she seems confused at least. Hmm. I'm on some stairs. I made a new drawing. Dot dot dot. <laughs> it's cold here. <laughs> hmm. I can't really make that out. She'll get you if you stay in the wall. I'm running out of crawl space anyway. I can hear voices underneath me and some kind of humming overhead. Should we saw down or uh, let's keep on going up. I want to see what the humming is unless, unless I like hit a wire. An oven almost fell on me, but I noticed it in time in a hallway. Hmm. I, I saw this and I drew it. What? Hmm. Oh, is this a... It's like a reverse image. Yeah, it's a reverse image of what she just said. It's someone laying on a bed. I came through into a lavender room. There were three women and a man coming. Are you with Frankie Cannibal? Frankie is gone. Didn't say where. Alone in a lavender room. If you keep going in the same direction you were going before, you should get to some windows or a back door. I don't trust that. Now I have splinters, and I hate you more. On a balcony. Three floors, a courtyard. Satsuma Garden, three floors down. Should I climb to the roof, or can you tell where I am? <laughs> climb to the roof. I don't see a courtyard. Case? Case? I'm thinking of you, my poor baby animal, wherever you are. This is a really bad house. Oh! Okay, well, the phone is cracked. I thought that we had died again, but it looks like we're going into the new chapter. Guess I finally lost my baby teeth. 
And I guess we will go ahead and check this out in the next episode, guys. This is crazy. But if you guys liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.